My stalker, bro. A few I years don't back, want no stalker, I was a shift manager guy. for a local big box pharmacy and convenience store. Fire. It was right Pharmacist. across my backyard, and I could probably sprint there in under a minute if I really wanted to. So it really worked out for me. I was in my late 30s. I worked out quite a lot, and while I was fit, I was still a smaller girl. Even though I was married, I would constantly get hit on and asked out. It was he is flattering. He's such an L, but he really turned awkward. the other way and did this. Now, this particular store I worked at was in a really weird part of town. It was on the right side of town to attract the Karens, but close enough to the not so good side of town to attract the drug addicts, so drunks, and psychopaths. Anyway, let me say that I'm not someone that gets scared easily. <laughs> I've had someone high on meth crash their car into the side of the store, that is causing tough. the back of our store to bend inward because we didn't carry pineapple juice. Oh my gosh! I had a man pick me up and oh, throw me nah. over his shoulder and start walking out the door with me, Off saying that I'd He crashed out for pineapple juice. Yeah. That's one for another time. Anyways, it all started on a Sunday morning. I remember this because I was really busy building in Oh, this is and true cell for real. That's crazy. I was working with my favorite coworker, so the day was flying by and I was really bubbly this day. There was a man and his son that came into the store and they made a beeline for me. The man was probably just a little under six foot and he was skinny. Oh, nah. The man had dreadlocks and a long skinny silver earring dangling from his ear. He also had this really tan trench coat that I found really odd because it was summer. Nonetheless though, I had then greeted them and asked if they needed some help. Mm -hmm. The man spoke with a really thick Jamaican accent and he said that his GPS stopped working and he wanted to see if we had any. I let out a really small laugh, thinking he was messing with me. You shouldn't have had a GPS. It's a pharmacy. I uh, know. That would be at Best Buy or something. But we do have a small section of electronics on this wall over here. I indicated the wall to the back of me. Oh, thanks. He said, taking a look, but also keeping his eyes on me. Something about those eyes just oh, really chilled nah, me. Oh, he lost it. He was speaking another language to his son, but oh, I kept going nah. on about my task for the day, and he would call me to help him. Asking me questions about chargers and SD cards. Bro, don't touch me! I answered them, and then he started telling me how beautiful I was. Bro, back up! Really awkwardly, I had thanked him. You're too close! You must work out, yeah? He asked. Um, yeah, yoga mostly. I replied while getting more and more uncomfortable now. He made some more comments about my body, telling me how he loved my tattoos, Ugh. and he was just really being a creep. Ugh. I tried to stay polite though, and get out of here. Just walked away to do nah, we putting work. this man on the wall. I nah, started to avoid we putting him, this guy on the staring. wall. He is banned. The He's man done. Had his phone out, and I kept hearing the shuddering of a camera. I Bro, went to the office to ban the this man. I thought the guy was taking my picture, and I was just really feeling uncomfortable. He then came out and watched over me. Shortly after my coworker came out, the man and his son then left. By the time the but to catch me came, alone. I forgot about him. What you mean you forgot? A few weeks later, I was up front ringing customers with a different coworker. We were crazy busy that day, but I was the manager on duty. Mm. After we got the line, well, you got lock in. We can't forget me an envelope. Uh, what's this? I asked her. I don't know. Some man in dreadlocks told me to give it to you. She said. I took the Even envelope my and I went into my office with it. It's the pictures. Inside the envelope were dozens and dozens of pictures uh, of me. My heart sank. I had no idea that these were taken. Most of them were of me in the store while working. Some of me walking home. And some even with me and my daughter. Bro, chill. Bro, what's up? There was also a note with it. It said something along the lines of, You're so beautiful. Now we're going to catch you. I'm in love with you. We're going to catch you. I'd be a much better husband than what you have now. Now we're going to catch you. Please give me a chance. We're going to catch your ass. You're there done. More You're not getting no chance. Police Get a chance now. in jail, buddy. The guy really stupidly left his Get name and address. Up. You're done. I then called our store manager mm -hmm. as well as the police. Mm -hmm. They took our camera footage, my statement, and the pictures and letters. They told him that he really needed to stay away from me or the next time he's getting arrested and he's banned from the store. Yes, sir. He should have already really been in jail. Relieved, but still really bothered by it. He did this a before. A few more weeks to about a month then went by. It was another really busy Sunday night. 
It was just myself as the manager on duty, and we had another co-worker as my cashier. Okay, good, good. We were ringing things up together, and I noticed a man staring at me. Bro. The man was tall with a medium beard. What do you need? You he don't need anything else. And he had the same earring and long trench coat as the other man did. This man was really scary. His eyes were just cold and really dead and angry. Bro. It felt like they were staring right through my soul. Bro, what's up with he you, bro? He didn't have anything to purchase. Just stood and stared. Nah. I tried to smile bro. politely at him. Then another wave of customers came. Ban this lost man. In helping everyone, but didn't see the No, yeah, I need anymore. security, bro. On me. Even when things calmed down, I still didn't see him. I decided to go start facing the back of the store, and I told my coworker to call me if she needed me. As I was back there, I heard that Jamaican accent. Oh my I gosh. I looked up at the mirror to see that same no scary man on the phone. Way. Yeah, she's here. No, it's just one other girl here with her. I can grab her when she leaves. No problem. You gonna grab who I was again? Absolutely horrified. You grabbing who? He didn't see me, so I slowly made my way up to the front. You better grab these. I briefly these, tell my coworker these what's buck going shots. on. You, be, these, you better grab these buckshots coming your way. The cops took him away. Thank you. A few Pack him up. Later, He's a done. Detective came to speak to me. The two men were brothers. They were abducting women and actually using them for human trafficking. He told me you I was really sick lucky. bet. I later found out that they had apparently found a woman beaten to death in their apartment. They have both since gone to prison. Sick man, stay in jail. This still gets that should get really life. Nightmares. What happened to that woman? Oh my could have gosh! Been me, but thank God it wasn't. Sick, bro. You've, oh my gosh! 